The next big feature for the master facility use case is the organizational unit profile. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is go into my facilities layer and I'm going to edit this a little bit. I'm just going to uh, turn off Sierra Leone and I'm just gonna navigate to a facility that I know has everything set up. All right, so here we are looking at our favorite famous clinic, Ingelihun. I'm going to click on Ingelihun and then when I click on this facility, you see I have an option is view profile. I'm gonna click on the view profile and you see there is a, on the right hand side of the screen, we have this organization unit profile um, uh, screen open up. And in this organization unit profile, you have a lot of information being uh, communicated to you. First of all, you have a picture. Uh, the picture is uploaded in the maintenance app in the organizational unit um, uh, uh, configuration um, area. Then we also have some attribute data associated with the facility. So for example, facility ownership, facility type, code, short name, et cetera. And then we even are showing now some data associated. So maybe some key performance indicators associated with this um, uh, facility. So we have, for example, expected pregnancies, total population under five, total population uh, for, the, for the facility catchment area. Um, and here, you're actually able to configure whatever you want here. So you can configure your attributes that show up in the organization unit profile, as well as the various data items, either indicators or data elements that show up in the organization unit profile as well. As it stands right now in 237, you are able to edit this through the API. Um, it's a relatively straightforward thing. If you have any folks who are used to working within the DHS2 API, the process is well documented in the, um, in the links that are provided in the release notes. Um, in future versions, probably 238, we're hoping to add a more user-friendly way to edit the organization unit profile. But as it stands in 237, in this initial release of this functionality, uh, you have to edit it through the API. The first thing I want to introduce is not particularly uh, only for Android, but the whole icon library of the HIS2 has been redesigned and it has been integrated actually into the health icon projects. And, and, and it means that the, the team of uh, volunteers, volunteer designers of the health icon projects have gone through uh, the whole icon library of the HIS2 and um, together with our team have redesigned all of, uh, all of our library just to make it look nicer, as you can see, and more integrated and more, more aligned in the, in the style of the icons. These are the icons that we use in metadata and not the icons for our web apps uh, in the HIS. Uh, 